Hi, I'm Stu, and after the first part of my day not going to plan, I check out Fuji Q's scare attraction. I also take a look around their rather creepy Thomas Land. Also, have some food. We're gonna have a look at the trains, and I want to get an express train back because at least then, once I'm warmed up, I might be able to go to something else in the city if we get time. So we need to order by these. We're going to have a ticket. And then it says the ticket without the odd number. Please hand it over directly to the designated counter. Do you do that first? Please wait until the order number appears on the monitor. Uh, let's see what needles we've got. Let's put... Right, let's try again. I have to enable the mag strip. Starling disables the mag strip every time, I think. £7.33, it says it's come, it's come out as. My tickets. There you go. Pick up number four. Seems to be the place to be. Everyone's queued up for number four. As much as it's a boring choice, I do like how I've got Okay, I'll just start deep fried chicken and bacon cheese potato. <laughs> this is what we got. I don't know where, but basically, as soon as I was waiting for this, some of the other stuff which just come out of the kitchen looked absolutely insane. Like it came out on like a skillet type of stuff, but I only saw one option for that. Maybe it didn't look very hard, but to be fair, this was incredibly cheap compared to that bar. I'm very jealous of how nice it looked. It's literally just nice to be warm. Oh my god, these smell lemony. One of my favourite things from the Chinese takeaway is lemon chicken. So if it is lemony, I'm going to be very, very happy. What is strange is with all these like health and safety notices and like please do this, please do this there's like notices everywhere to do anything you know which are kind of like anti-rude messages if that makes sense like don't do this because it's you know, bad etiquette all that sort of stuff but everyone is incredibly polite so much so that I've never been to a theme park before when there's people queuing. Not just here, but on the tube, on the metro, whatever. There's people queuing. As soon as a door opens, everyone floods the door. Here, a door opened and no one just moved. Until they hadn't been told to move yet. Like the group in front went in and they didn't even move up. So well, I'll be told them to move. And yet, the flip side of that is there's literally like signs everywhere for stuff. I just find it odd that the signs are necessary because most of the countries you could have as many signs as you want. No one's ever going to look at them or take notice of them. Right, back outside. Still no sign of life. I mean, you wouldn't even know this was a, a theme park. I mean, everyone's just ice skating now, I think, because there's nothing else to do. You know what I'm like? I'm normally, like, really angry about, about, you know, right, you know, how they take my money and stuff. I do think there is an argument that, even though it's out of their control, it's also out of my control. So, like, I can take the hit on all the travel costs that I've got to, you know, I've used to get to a park. You should be taking the hit that you can't deliver the service that I've paid for. I don't know, this isn't about here today, this is about all sites, all theme parks. The theme parks tend to be like, well, now you've paid your money now. And they double down on that. Thought Park and the Merlin in general recently they've started activating their return garage, and that's better, that's a good step. Particularly because, you know, 
their rides are down all the time and now because of the smaller accident their wind tolerances are like nothing that's the entrance that's the main entrance and that's it there's nothing else down here there's got a starbucks oh yeah so it's just, it's the whole like oh you've booked and we, we can close any rides and all the, all the defensiveness of it it's like yeah short term you win short term you win that you win that because you've got the money and no one else is gonna do what i do and i'd contest it and i'd start putting claims in the front and centre Fujiyama. Togo Hyper. Another Togo Hyper. I was looking forward to that, didn't mind. But going back to the whole thing of me being very chill, there's all the staff are here, the staff. I mean, I could go on the teacups. And when I say teacups, I mean, I like how it's called Turn Floor and Sipping Cups. Oh, the scare attraction. Tickets are available for sale. Oh, should I go? Should we go and do that? Okay, I got my ticket. Twenty-one pounds. Oh, I did not realise it's going to be that expensive. Um, right, it's obviously it's not going to be in Japanese. I don't know, I have a clue what's going on. But can you hear that? This going to stay with the train. I can't be angry about it and because everyone else has just been so chill about it, like one of those things. I used to wear that it's not incompetence because a lot of the time it is in the Merlin parks. It's just it's just literally weather, isn't it? Everything just battered. Apparently apparently this is pretty good. So we'll see. I think one ticket gets four people in, so I'm basically paying for four people. So does that mean I walk through by myself? Which is gonna be even more hilarious. This building looks pretty intense. Also, the Japanese do tend to be very jumpy and screamy. So, anyway, let's see. I'm excited. <laughs> right, there's no queue, thankfully. <laughs> Taking scary pictures. <laughs> what can I say about that? Attention, dear guests. We have reached the cutoff time for today's queue at Go Go Boat Road in Thomas Land. We apologize for any inconvenience and we invite you to enjoy other attractions that are currently open. <laughs> I mean, probably just keep that one open. Uh, no, we'll go go ball throw days, but we're going to find out. Yeah, so the right, it's massive. It's absolutely huge. I couldn't tell you how many levels is on. I think three, maybe four in places in the in the side turrets, if you will. Like you're up and down stairs all the time in there. It's impeccably themed. There's not just like a repeat. Uh, over and over again of the same stuff. It, it, it felt like I was going through an actual hospital. Lots of different stuff to see. Like, yeah, that was good. However, for the first, I don't know, 50% of it, I was in there for some of the time. I was in there for a good 15 minutes, which actually for a scare attraction is quite long. It's so long, in fact, they use a technique that I've not seen before in that they have like doors where you have to stop so if loads of people have all congregated it splits you up again to give the actors a chance but that's the problem four actors now spread four actors i only saw each of them once it wasn't even like there was a multiple time thing over 50 minutes so yeah, like, it's, it's, it's not a haunted house, it's a scare attraction, and you're paying £21, that's a lot. Some effects in there are really good. So these little floor whips, which would come in and whip your feet, not her, but they would uh, sweep the floor essentially, and like it looked like someone with a hand was doing it. That was pretty good. No music in there. 
all just kind of sounds and eeriness, which I quite like. And also, I was by myself. When you go in, you sit in six. Um, you sit in six booths, and you watch a film. It's a Blair Witch Project, essentially. Of the people who are exploring the hostel, and they end up being killed. But then the atmosphere just stops because then you're sat there for like three or four minutes in absolute silence. You hear some rumblings of people, you know, shouting. And then uh, someone gets you, then they have to go through another safety brief with you, which you've already gone through. So it's, it's just kind of like, do all the safety stuff first if you've got to do it, then just let us start. At this point, we've only watched two pre shows to build the atmos up. Maybe one of those pre shows has all the rules in it again. If you're really into scare attractions, then do it. If you don't, don't spend £21 on it. Which is sad, because it looks amazing. All the gear. I've not even no idea, just no staff. <laughs> anyway, we're now in Thomas Land, as you can tell by the music. Oh, we've got a soft spot for Toby. Hi, right, Toby. Don't like Gordon. He's a bit of a know it all, isn't he? The Gordon. Look at him. Don't know who near is. That's just made up. That's not a real one. Here's a big man. This is my childhood. It's really odd because this was obviously my favourite as I grew up as a kid. But never did I ever think I'd be in Japan. These rides close early then. What time is it now? Let's have a look. It's quarter to three. I'm on the ride, it's already reached capacity. There was a dark ride in here. I think there was a, was a coaster at some point. Is that open? That water ride's open. Well, I don't know if that's, is that Bullstrode's go-go, or whatever it's called? Can I do the dark ride, because it looked pretty fun. Oh, here's the coaster. Oh, look at the track on that, looks massive. You won't, you won't come across on camera. Yeah, it says Central, Central Four. Nia's Animal Coaster. What's this sign say? Closed due to wind, so they say. Which I'm sorry, I'm just not having. I don't believe this cannot operate in the winds. Because look, it's all pretty much downhill at a decent gradient. I remember this looking pretty bad when a new part of the ride came here. This looks all right now. Brown's never going to be the nicest colour, is it? Oh, that's a ride! I've never seen one of them before. I've never seen one of them before. It's like, it's essentially a Ferris wheel, a little Ferris wheel. What well, good little idea, like that. Although naming them after the characters just is a nightmare operation because the kids always want a specific one. It's called Thomas's Party Parade. Don't even hear anymore. It opened in 1998. It was the first Thomas Land. So that's why Drayton Manor looks like a, you know, a step above this one, but... That's pretty old now, isn't it? And it's still here. When they said they had to close the queue, I'm pretty sure this is Bullstrode, isn't it? The, the boat? What they mean is we can't even bother keeping it open because there's no one here. <laughs> oh dear. Also, not a fan of the new theme tune. Put it back, please. This is a bit odd, though. It's like in an office building. Like, it's got office towers on the roof. I don't know if they'll allow me to film or not. Hopefully they will, but we'll see. Thomas Treasure Hunt, there you go. Close it for. Oh, there's no queue. Lovely stuff. I've actually got a little torch to do stuff with. I've never had a torch before. <laughs> I love this stuff. There you go, shine it on the, on the things, do you?
ならこのお花畑の中にある美しい青い花を一緒に探してくれないとてもきれいな花なんだうんこれは博物館にぴったりだおーい港で海賊船が見つかったよピッカッカの王冠がどこかの箱に入っていたぞ<笑>探して海賊の王がうざうざくてるよ Delightful. Obviously, I'm very dis it, it, that, it was one thing that kind of you know tugs at my heartstrings. Gonna, my childhood. It's going to be that. Yeah, okay. It's not lit very well. That's the only problem with it. It's just not lit very well. It's lit by lights that were there before whatever that building was in the past, like a training building or whatever. But if it was lit better and a bit more music, yeah, it, it'd be. Because a lot of stuff moves around there. It's a similar. If you take away the, if you take away the ceiling, it's the same as Walton Gromit. It's the same like nothing really moves. Does that make sense? There's no mouth action or anything like that. But yeah, it's uh, it was pretty good. The wind is meant to be getting worse, so nothing's going to open. Hence why I'm not planning to say I cannot believe I got on three coasters today. I feel very lucky. What is this? Impossible games. 30 to 90 minutes. Oh, it's this floor game you see on TikTok all the time, or I do. Oh, there's a ride open. I'm gonna go back. Try and find the dark ride. There you go, 3D shooting attraction. So I'm give this a go. Can we just remember there's a whopping big volcano over there? And that's the first volcano I've ever seen in my life with my real eyes. Alright. Priority. Some standby. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Oh no, it's 3D glasses. There's a flying theatre here. So I might as well give that a go if it's open. Pretty sure it's that in that area that we're doing a lot of work there because it might be closed. What was that? Takabisha challenge. Can you eat the Takabisha? If you can, take a shot, it will be take a, take a shot all day long. Okay. All right, go home, you're drunk. Yeah, this is it. So let's see if it's uh, any good. I've literally no report or information on what this is like. Look at those graphics. There are people waiting. Suggest it's open. Meet Thomas and his 
to the tip. Thomas Line closes one hour. Right, you have to be people from Bulls Road. <laughs> yeah, it closes one hour before the rest of the park. So I'm heading to the station now. That's the end of my day here at Fuji Q Highland. Has been the best in the world now, obviously. Part of the song, I don't really confuse that. Could it have been helped? No. I'm amazed anything's opened with any sort of height today. Like, genuinely amazed. Oh, Please tell me why I need to face IG to us. Very quickly, I do recommend going through this entrance purely just to get on that quickly. How do we get to the other side of the station? over the bridge. This is not time I allowed for. Is it one it's one track? It's one track. It's one track. Well since I've seen just one track. So yeah I'm very very pleased that I managed to get on that Takabisha and Zarkon. Zoko Zarkon. They're the only three roller coasters which opened. None of the thrill rides opened all day. Which is odd, a lot of the time I, mean, I think the thrill rides are normally okay, or more okay in the wind. Obviously the wind seeker type one's not, not so much. So that's it, that's it in this video. It's going to take about two and a half hours to get back into the centre of Tokyo. Tomorrow I'm going to Disneyland Tokyo, Tokyo Disneyland, one of those two. At the minute you can't park hot, so I'm just going to go to Tokyo Disneyland the first day. I think Tokyo Disney Sea for the other two days. There'll be vlogs more then. If you haven't already, I've been to China, Shanghai. We went to Happy Valley, we went to Shanghai Disneyland. We've got travel videos of how to get from Heathrow to all the places that I got to. All those videos are already online. So please subscribe and take a look at all those other videos. But there's some more videos to come, which is another reason to subscribe. Hope you found this useful. Like I said, it's not the most thorough video, but I'm just pleased I got to do three of the coasters. Actually, I spent a lot of the time doing some other rides, bits and bobs, and I've had, I have, have, I have had, I have had an okay day to be fair. Like, it's not the worst day I've ever had in the theme park, that's still Six Flags Discovery Kingdom over in California. To finish up, I just went and got a nice little shot from this little viewpoint I found as I walked out of Thomas Land. So, enjoy that, and I'll see you in the next video.